In this quick tip, we'll use just a few plugins to add some life to a drum kit. Then we'll add just a little bit of room sound to both the drums and the guitar, both of which help make the mix much more interesting. So here we've got your typical drum kit. Kick, snare, toms, overheads, and a room mic. Let's just start with one of the overhead mics. So let's reach inside the Oxford Dynamics and give this some punch. So all we'll do is enable the compressor, pull the threshold down, you can see it's squashing pretty hard, add some makeup gain, and then switch the default normal mode to linear. Adds a little bite to the overheads, but what we want to do is then add the inflator to this. It's very simple, we're just going to push up the curve, push up the effect, pull the output down a touch, and add some input gain. And I'll just bypass it. It's definitely not as flat sounding with the dynamics and inflator. Then what I'll typically do is option drag the plugins to the overhead right channel. This then duplicates the settings to each channel. And let's bypass it to listen. Again, that's quite flat. So we'll add it into the rest of the mix, and then we'll just work on the snare quickly. Solo this up. Again, that's dry, so we're gonna add a little Oxford reverb, and we'll open this up and go to the room settings in the presets menu. Here's the rooms. I like to add the reflective room on snare drums. And I'll typically pan it hard left and right so that there's some ambience in the mix. Let's put it in here. And we'll push up the send. I like to push it up too far at first. So we exaggerate the effect. You can see as you pull it down, it settles in nice. Let's hear it. Exaggerate. And then pull it just back. There we go. And I'll just listen to each drum. Okay, there's our toms. And the overheads. They sound much better now. It's our reverb. Nice, got some pop now. And again, what I like to do when I'm mixing is exaggerate the send like that. Then I might go into the reverb and tweak a little bit, listen to the difference between the tail and the early reflection. That sounds the best to me. Then what I'll usually do is just pull that send back just to mix it in nice. Much better. Mute it just to listen. It's certainly better with it in. Okay, now let's move to the guitar and do the same type of effect. We're going to put some room sound on it. Go room, and we'll use the small room one. I just want to add some ambience to the mix. You can see the guitar is panned slightly left. There's our send. Now what I like to do is pan the reverb to the right. Let's open it up. Just want to create a little sonic space, especially when the guitar is left. And I'll just push it up a bit. Come out. I'll just take it past this break a little bit so you can hear it. There's the depth. I'm going to pull it back just a little bit. Now to me, that's just a little bit bright, so I'm going to go into the equalizer section of the reverb, and I'm going to pull down some of the highs. Grab that, but typically I like to use the filter. There we go. A little bit warmer sound. So let's just go back and review what we've done. Here's the overheads, and all I've used is the inflator and dynamics for a bit of compression. Let's bypass. Put them back in, put it back in the mix, and then we added a reflective room to the snare drum, as well as a small room for the guitar. So there's just a few quick tricks to help add some life to your mix.